Hey, war gamers! Welcome back to the channel, Death from Above War Gaming. I'm Aaron. I'm Tom, and I'm Kevin. It's here, guys. Well, for you, it's here. Ooh, the box. I still have to wait for mine. The box has arrived. We are so excited. We are doing an unboxing live. Live. Well, I guess it's sort of live. Yeah, it's, it's gonna be live. It's gonna be it's live couple, for us. A couple days. Yeah, I, mean, I actually took PTO tomorrow. That's and pay time off. I want to cut this thing and get it on the internet. So just, fast to, just to play with your toys? Well, no, just to get the video out. To and play then, with your toys. Yeah, <laughs> all right, he's right. I'm and none of you will believe it, but Aaron has had the box since yesterday. Since Sunday. Yeah, evening. that's incredible Unopened. stamina. Unopened. Incredible. Unopened. Unopened. He the has discipline. not even, he hasn't even peeled the tape back. Yeah. Just waiting for us and you. Faked it for the and viewers. And you. Yeah, so we're hoping that it's actually Battletech stuff in the box. I mean, it could be. Yeah. We've been guessing, is it going to be actually the Kickstarter stuff? Will it be just a box of maps? Maybe a box of challenge coins? 30 oh, boxes or... of Kashi. Yeah. It was yeah. really like... <laughs> yeah. It was very... Goldfish. <laughs> the hell? Yeah. So it'll be good. All right, so let's get Shall to I it. do the manual labor? All right. Is that why I'm here? This is exciting. I like this. Seated. Lift with the knees. Lift with the knees. Do some more seating. Uh, what do you think? Slide, slide that into the frame, Kev. Wow. Is it gonna? God, that's big. All right, guys. We are back. The box is open. We're we're ready. So we did we did a con I'm already. We did a star kernel. We did both of those things. I did a star call too, but I think mine's on back order because I was not part of the first wave con. Well, you wave know, one point one. I'm like wave is. one point two. Well, you know, it's coming. We it's can't all be wave one point oneers. It's Are you true. sure yours is in here? It, um, I think so. I think it's all in there. We're gonna find out. But listen, we'll here's see. the thing. Here's the thing. I kept my canon character, Kevin. I didn't sell out. I know. So, Cal tells me there is a whole deck of cards. I was like, am I in there? He's like, I don't know. So we're going to find out. I want to go through every card. And Speaking and is of your, which... Who's, who's your character, by the way? Is it Aaron Falcone? Uh, Captain Aaron Falcone? <laughs> Car -car. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin, grab some stuff out of the box. What do we What do we got here? Jade Falcon shirt. Oh, this is yours, Tom. Let's Should I just go put it on? Yeah. Just open it. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm your ear change on Because this, this is off-brand. I well, see yours and we do it now. Can we can we do a cut and I can uh, go put it on real quick? Oh my god! Beautiful. And we're back. You look so good, dude. <laughs> it's nice. We can even model the back. Oh yeah. yeah. Look at, oh, I like that. Yeah. Battle tech. <laughs> Battle tech. <laughs> that's all. Case. That fits really nice. Know. Yeah, it's actually nice. Packs look great, bro. Thank you. All right, Kev. What else we got? Kelhound shirt. Kelhound shirt. All right, I'm gonna open this one up. You can dig through and find something What's else. What's next? Yeah. This is so we're gonna go for the light stuff first. Ooh, yeah, I can put Tactical those on bash. my uh, yeah, put those on my backpack. Oh, put that on your travel gear. Oh, they're actually fabric. Davian scum. Nice. Davian scum. I like this uh, this Kelhound shirt. What do you That's think? Sexy. Yeah, looks the, pretty good. The detail on these patches I mean, is quite nice. Falcon. These are very nice looking patches. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Make a pile of them. Yeah. Merrick, naturally. Okay. Obviously, yeah, I mean, nice. they don't even care about the merit. You know, like, well, you know, how to get something. Ooh, we we knew, we know that, right? They're oh, bleeding. this is actually really nice. This patch here. Oh, it's very uh, beautiful. Very rich colors. So these don't. I mean, they're very quality. They're not MSR, garbage. MSRP seven. They're quality. Yeah. I feel what like we're we starting one of those knife TV uh, shows. In case there's a problem, there's a there's a open a case card with mm -hmm. their quartermaster logistics. With their quartermaster logistic email. Is it just, is it like a Discord channel, probably, or, or like a, just a Facebook account? Yeah. Just Twitter. <laughs> just Twitter. Some gorgeous dice. I'm just kidding. Ooh, yeah. look at these puppies. Cap, up. you know you want to open the Draconis Combine ones. Sure. Comstar. So we got all sorts of dice. Yeah. Uh, I got, I got some Clan Wolf here. Okay, quality Did you order extra dice? dice? Oh, I ordered right. tons, yeah. Because you, you know, only get one, right, with your pledge? You might have got a couple. I don't remember, but everybody right. knows What's I that? love dice. So check these Zubi uses for pilot die. Are I'm they the sixes it. or the emblems the sixes? The yeah. emblems, thank God. I hate Not when the, the emblem's the one. I hate it. Right. Yeah. Critical <laughs> miss. <laughs> mm. Beautiful. I like the, Let me the, see the combine I, ones. And I remember gorgeous. reading the updates, and they said that, uh, you know, they went through several iterations, right? The pips are drilled real deep. Um, colored very well, I think. The well, yeah, look one. from the side. Look how deep those pips are. Yeah. Oh, wow. wow. That's really cool on the Comstar one. This, these are and great. Look, like smoke colored. But... <clears throat> I like the 
Corito ones. They're yeah, beautiful. They're, they're very nice. These oh, yeah. ones. Okay. Not a I don't fan of the Davian ones. Yeah. Let, but let's see how they roll. Is all that matters to me. Double six. Oh, I was close oh, though. Yeah, that's I an eight. See. That's an eight. It's what you I'll couldn't. One more it's what you couldn't hit the other night. Sick burn. Dang man. Has everybody watched that bat rip? That's, I hope so. This, is phenomenal. this guy has a Comstar. That's weird looking. But um, yeah. yeah. Still smart like about it. it. But at least people like it. It's hard to see the emblem in it. It is Could have done yeah. like a blue maybe. I don't know. Yeah, that's true. I, I do kind of like how the pips look though. It's yeah, pretty it's, sick. It's, 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 All right, what else do we have here, Kev? Keep it rolling. This is so fun. It's like it's like Christmas. Oh, oh, oh. Pins. Ooh, pins. Ooh. To wear on your lapel. I you mean, know? you know, Tom, you have a Jade Falcon pin to go with your Jade Falcon shirt. To wear at your next executive meeting. <laughs> I mean, you're guaranteed a promotion with this right. puppy. This is, I'm going to give it to my wife for our anniversary. I like, declare a batch on my manager. Yes. <laughs> I demand it. It's like, honey, it's I got promotion. you that yeah. Honey, I got you that piece oh, of jewelry you've been asking for. So oh, good. it's a pin for Jake so Falcon. A trial of possession for your job. <laughs> Oh, I love Bottle it. Bottle opener. Oh, yeah. With your gene your seed, a uh, DNA tag or something like that? I, yeah, I don't, is this supposed to, it looks like a bottle opener, I'm not sure it's supposed to be. I can't, I even, I can't even get this little tiny bag open. Guys, guess what? Ooh, it's modified cool. hat, check this out. What do you think? Oh, it's baller Kevin. status. Got I my, like it, I it goes like well, man. What do you think? I got my sweet I got a dog tag. Falcon outfit on there. Clam so filth. Pumped. Clam filth, can't could, even wear it. Could you be in here somewhere? Whoa. It's possible. You, so you could open like uh, this is the beefiest bottle opener I think I've ever seen in my life. It's pretty rad. <laughs> so we've got three decks, Tom. We've got Champions of the Inner Sphere, Ooh, Mercenaries of the Inner Sphere, and then we have we doubled down on Warriors of Kresky. Yeah. Is, is that the Joker right there? <laughs> it looks like him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's... All right, All right now we're getting see. to some juicy stuff. The Joker. What? A Fortress we... Bob dropship? Fortress dropship. Oh, I didn't realize we used this like map scale. Oh, yeah. map scale. Map scale. That is. Decided not to get one of them. I, well, well, I think. Are you gonna just, pop it open? Uh, well, well, I'm gonna open one of these decks. Does so somebody have back? You can open that. Shuffle through one. Open up that puppy, man. So now, uh, get the get the scissors over there. Oh, here. Oh, you're right. It's actually like <laughs> yeah. double. This should be a lot easier. Than <laughs> it looks. <laughs> I'm just like mangling the paper. <laughs> The, the drop ship. Here's the top. It's a soap. It's a bath bomb. <laughs> oh my dude, if there were bath bombs. <laughs> it's bad. It looks like my kids would love them. Here's your fortress soap dish. <laughs> I, I cannot get this open. I mean, I listen. Guess you, you glue it? Is, it's, that, is, it's, that, is that the proper assembly method? It's and then there's pieces. some And then there's some uh, right. pewter sprues to, to put on like the yeah. feet and... Uh, Really struggling. Landing with this gear. Deck. There's more plastic inside, Tom. Wait, why? Why are these also sealed? I guess I don't understand packaging. <clears throat> so you get like a little instructional card how to put together your Forge's dropship. It's like um, you know the standard pewter legs and landing gear. Yeah, I'm not gonna mess with it too much. You can do this, but it's made out of like an interesting plastic. And I'm guessing they're supposed to connect together, but I don't Very know if they're cool. perfectly cast. Yeah, I, I wish I'll, they. I'll let you break that on your time. I wish they would have made like a card game out of this, like, like go fish or something. Like I need a star kernel. <laughs> so oh, I got a star kernel. So there are two different kinds of of decks. There's these decks that are just dossiers, just salacious dossiers, and nothing more. Real juicy. Are these all backers? I don't know. Uh, that, they, would, they, that would make sense. However, I don't remember reading about whether these would be all backers or. Yeah, I don't remember either. I'm you gonna, just get it kind of like mixed in on, at random. Yeah, I'm gonna look through here. That does make some find more sense. Out. Yeah, I'm gonna reload that one. For sure. So, uh, <clears throat> you need to repack this. You guys, would you guys like to check out the dropship, yeah. or should yeah, we just good with it. start it? We'll we'll put it right here for you know, for viewing pleasure. Some more decks. Jaded? I should say. Oh, I feel jaded. That's good. Well, these are a lot of turrets. So these are pilots, but I believe these are the ones without portraits. I don't know if that is hey, a... Hey, look, it's me! <laughs> play. You're there only you a go. captain. I'm only a captain. I'm a star captain. There's your $75. Yeah. There it is. Mmm, feels good, guys. Guess what? I hope he gets headshot <laughs> the first time you play him. You're an awful person. Is this a... Uh... He'll eject. 
Tell us about these correctly. duplicates. But uh, these are the MechWarrior card packs. Oh, so, so these, these are the ones, ones that are yeah. for the Alpha Strike, right? Yeah, they are uh, Alpha Strike or Classic, one of the two, right? I think there's one side because they came in the in the box set. Uh, right. Frame of Armor Combat, a bunch okay. of them. These are for Can like the... Am I doing something wrong with this? Because this I was saying the same thing. I was going to let him force it together. First off, the one side is sculpted the wrong way. You mean like the, right. the flange? I must have this on backwards, right? Ooh, here are the tokens. What do they call these? Uh, the, the challenge coins? Yes. challenge here coins. Okay. Take a couple this out. Take a couple out. The Marit one. Take a look at that. I think it's got your your homeboy on here. Mmm. Oh, the Orion. The Orion. You know. Your junior. Yeah. yeah. Who made Who made this? Can we uh, talk about Iron, this? Ironwind Metals. Oh, okay. It's just got a little flashing on it. Very cool. So how are these things supposed to be used? <laughs> Love it. 3D I printing. I challenge you this with my future. rifleman. Yeah, it's like a Pokemon. I just throw it at you. <laughs> and then the Orion comes <laughs> out of the coin. Don't take an eye out. These are really cool, though. These are like collector's items, right? Um, so everyone's got yeah. the faction logo on one side and a mech on the other. So I didn't realize they had mechs on the other side, which yeah, is pretty Yeah, is, is it the same mech for each no, faction? No, So mm -hmm. Merrick has the Orion. Davian no, has No, no, what I'm saying rifleman. is will Merrick always have the Orion? That's a great question. Probably. Yeah. Because the Rifleman, yeah, they're, they're kind of classics. <clears throat> you got a Jade Falcon, and you have a Smoke Jack. Okay, can we come back to this and just, like, so this is how it lines up. That is, that is not good. Yeah, no, I mean, we'll it'll, to, it'll be a great. Heat, a little it'll, heat it'll be great it'll for around. when we build rubble and destroy dropship terrain. Oh. <laughs> just put it on your shelf. I love mm. it. Because it'll probably get painted, what, like, last? Never. Ooh. These are really cool. Ooh, a clan wolf one. Show shot. Now, the challenge tokens, you got to choose these, right? You got to choose challenge coins, yeah. Exactly. Are you planning to do a smoke jaguar? Heck yeah. No, I don't think so. Isn't that what I saw on there? That was or a no, Nova that was a Nova Cat. Yeah. That's yeah. Merrick. Mm. Oh, these are great. Yeah, really neat, right? I, I like that they're not all circles. Now, they don't come out, right? They just stay Some in this. Steiner dice. Think we were looking for them. Steiner. They don't come out? Don't try. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna. Work. More, more GDC dope. Oh, here you go. Here's your box. Well, I feel like I'm like, I feel like I'm at a casino, right? Yeah. They're very, like, very high quality. What's what's anti? Oh, it's it's two two Marics. Oh man, oh, I only got one. those. I'm all in. Another Ooh. Dagger Star keychain. Ooh, I this like one without the, the bottle opener feature. This. Oh yeah, this one is just uh, I believe the. Ooh, I like that starly. Smoky. smoky. You you like that too. Very cool. Very cool. Very cool. Oh, they're cute. Some Jade Falcon dice. Yeah, the Comstar or the Starly keychain, I guess this is, and the um, the bottle opener thingies. They're actually pretty decent yeah. quality. How many Ironwind metal mechs did they have to melt down to make them? That's the question. <laughs> this is like three mechs at least. It's very nice. At least the Liao or like oh, yellowish. Oh, oh, it's yeah. interesting. Ooh, that yellow is it's crazy. Cool. It's very uh, these greens. It's interesting they're all green. out of the way. For Jade Falcon, mm -hmm. I, I do kind of love it. And let's yeah. see how they roll. Jade Falcon, I'm repping hard. Oh, these are pretty. You're going to like these. Ah, double force. These are the Maric ones? Yeah. Oh, I like those. Those are really cool. They're definitely like... Another two. Dagger Star keychain. Retail price, $9.99. With tax or without tax? <laughs> Shipping. Uh, internet sales only. <laughs> Must be shipped out of Delaware. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we gotta dig deep. I'm just ready for I'm ready for the mechs, Kev. I'm ready when you Another are. Another lapel pin. Oh, look at this. Oh, yeah, this is, this is a nice non mech one. content. Whoa, let me see that. Davian lapel pin, this is pretty cool. Ghost Bear, there's some nice looking dice. And yeah. Kel Sounds, they're kind of Halloweenish. Oh, well, you know, very festive. I wonder where these dice are from. I know, you should pile them in the middle here, though, Tom. You should make a giant oh, dice tower, thought... like, right here. I was figuring all the mechs are about to just completely take over this table. Oh, all right, fair point. Yeah, how many, do you, how many do you meat. think we met? Uh, do you guys want to take some guesses on how many mechs we ordered? Oh, they're coming. Because I honestly forget. All right, I've heard a lot about this. I've like seen a lot of updates 40. on this one. Oh, the map packs. Oh, that's so good. Two of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Enjoy. <laughs> What are those, Ghost Bear? Yeah. I'm going to save the Ghost Bear is real nice. I wish you guys could see again. A set of three I feel like I'm on the knife. Oh, cool. 
All right, so let's start with the map packs, shall we? Yeah. So you can put this one aside because we got duplicates. Oh, right. Okay. Let's start with the, yeah, let's start with the map pack. So many things. We got double posters too. Let's just take a break to actually just play on this Battle of Tukey and that. Recreate it in its entirety. Is this a giant? They're poster? posters, yeah. yeah. There's, like, there's three of them, I think, in there, or is it just one? It's a set of three, so. Feel free to pop that open. I think open. I remember what they look like. Should I open them? All right. So what do we got here, Kev? Maps. I see cliffs. I see, I see nice, a nice ravine. Yeah. They're gorgeous. The nice color is beautiful on them. Yeah, very rich here. Ooh. You made a tie Had we played on paper know. maps, I would be very excited for these. These are. I would be very excited for these. Like these, the these might be nice in a pinch. Them. This is also, I have to tell you, a very, uh, very wide river. I like it. Reminds well, me of you know, Paris. Think about how big real rivers are, you know? We kind of play on streets. Look at the Delaware! Think of the Delaware! It's huge! I and mean, that's like... Mm, 300 yards? Yeah, it's like the Delaware! Don't, I don't believe you it. You don't know what planet this is. <laughs> you don't know their ecology. You know? This could be an archipelago. archipelago? I don't even know. Oh, I love yeah, that poster. Gorgeous. Okay. I don't hate it. I love it. Yeah, I think it's beautiful. I Phoenix that, off, being it's, getting, it's pretty much impossible. To, getting oh, jumped by some elementals. And then this one's cool because it's in a landscape, so it'll be easier to get on camera. But everybody's favorite. Well, there it is. half of the people's favorite. It's I very like nice. That. They're, they're beautiful. That is that is really cool. This is cool. So this is like a swamp. Got to find a way to like iron out the folds. You very like anime. I, I don't dislike that. So here's anime. uh here's another cool map, huh? This one's the pretty swamp? Swear. I like yeah, the, the swamp. color. Yeah, and they got like. Uh, Are you gonna complain about how big that road is? That's too long of a road. It's It's like thirty meters wide. <laughs> is it? That's how big every hex is supposed to be. That's what I'm just thinking about. Like, how wide is a how wide is a normal road? There's no legal. Ten feet per lane or something? That makes sense, right? Yeah, that's a decent sized road. Oh, this one's cool. I see a tattooed arm, which tells you that whoever the pilot is, he's probably a badass. Or oh, she. this one. We yeah. have that one. Yeah. So that uh, that's actually cool. That's because you know, we got the, the holographic one, right? Yeah. Or the, yeah, the hologram. It just makes everything cool. I, I do love the cockpit Magic. view on this one. Magic one. However, I don't... Were they allowed to get tattoos? I didn't think mech pilots would be allowed to have tattoos. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And that's Space Marines, Tom. Yeah. Here's, okay, uh, that's a fair enough observation. Is that like scatter terrain for your... This, this is like fire and smoke oh. for the uh, for the map packs. They have it's rules. A lot, of, a lot of fire to use. For the Battle of Tuckyid. Uh, for who's doing what, if you're if you're playing Ghost I mean, Bear or whatever. Tuckyid? Is that this one's Tuckyid. Tuckyid? Tuckyid. I don't know, man. I don't either. Just so curious. this one's pretty awesome. That is pretty cool. Yeah. Like the, the damage on, on the mech and just stomping through the chest yeah. of the hated. Hated. That's pretty cool. It's a good one. Yeah, it's a good one. And one more. It's not hate, Tom. It's just business. I think that's the same one. Oh, that is. And then this is the other one. Yeah, that's the one. Ooh, this looks cool, too. There are special oh, rules man. for the Battle of Tukian. Wow, that's another good one. <laughs> oh, look at that. This is interesting. The Pentagon Worlds. Oh, I love these. That's pretty cool. That's Political really cool. Balance. What show, is that? Show that. Show. Spin yeah, that it's, around. It's like yeah. Here, we can we can get it on camera number two. Yeah. Gives you a map of the clan home worlds, but here, uh, how many how many uh, worlds they're on? I don't know. They have like certain point balances. I'm not sure. I think it's like population or like how many settlements they have on those worlds. Yeah. So here is the, whoops, did not mean to pop on. It's cool though, maps are always nice for campaign, you oh, know, yeah. supplemental stuff. Absolutely. Put this Gorgeous. stuff over here, love the posters. And this goes with your maps. Mm. So the ones I unfortunately some. never use. These, these are great for the children. Yeah, so these are really cool. I'm not gonna open them, uh, but they have cardboard cutouts 
uh, for all of these different mechs. You know, Wolverine, Thunderbolt, basically all the, game of, all the Game of Armored Combat ones, all the Clan Invasion ones. Um, looks like just about everything your heart could desire in terms of, you know, the popular mech, Shadow Cats, Thors, Venerous. Very cool stuff. So, yeah, I agree. Like, this is great for anybody who doesn't have a full blown collection if you want to get your, like, friends into it, right? And then want to uh, try out different mechs and things like that. Always. Or you just don't like your children touching your miniatures. <laughs> or, you know, it's very easy to bring these kind of things, tra travel on them. Yeah, have, that's a good point, the too. The map and the thing. They, made, they made great stocking stuffers. Yeah, great stock. <laughs> Play with me. A cardboard, a <laughs> okay. cardboard vulture. Okay. All this is gone. What's, where's the good stuff? It's Record sheets. I'm getting impatient. Record sheets, so I can laminate these bad boys. Oh, yeah. So this is, oh, uh, this is some printing time. Every mech, I believe, in a game of armored combat and wave one. Nice. I believe. Even if you didn't get it. And I assume we'll get these yeah. with Wave 2 as well. Wait, it's a booklet? Oh, yeah. That's cool. Yeah, so is it's it a, a booklet single here. sheet each? It, uh, it is. So you've got so a Hellbringer. Nice like, for example, cover. you've got Hellbringer Prime A, B. Awesome. You know, Thor Prime, Thor A, Thor B. So it's not every single variant, but it's a pretty good. It's an interesting take on like doing a technical readout or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, they used to. Sell, I mean, I guess they still do. Uh, but they used to sell these back in the day in like the stores. You you know, because nobody because nobody had printers and like computers right. that could print record sheets. <laughs> so this is what you used to get is like these little booklets. Um, and now we do you know, have printers. Now we do have printers. But you know, <laughs> these are still very cool to have. Yeah. Um, to your point. You know, like you bring a pencil, right? You just pet, throw this in a bag, you travel with it, whatever, bring it to a tournament, whatever you want to do. So pretty cool. You know, always good stuff to get. If you had a binder that had like a, a mylar sheet or something, you could change the... Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, right, 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 right. It. That'd be cool. Yeah. All right. It's time. We're into the goods. Oh, wait. Sorry. Yes. Wait. No. Ah. Check that. You tease. You tease. How many? You, you ordered... Snow Raven dice, of course. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh, dice. those look real good. These are like a nice, nice blue. I'm a sucker for like a, yeah, a clear blue die. What I'll do is I'll, I'll try to take some pictures of these and throw them up as we go. But these are pretty cool. All right, we're in the oh. juicy stuff. Oh, boy. Let's see how they roll. The evasion is here. The children of Kerensky return with better miniatures. So the one poster, <laughs> one poster that Tom had, and misshapen dropships. <laughs> yeah, that one's uh, that's, that's called the salvage box. Daddy, why don't you love me? <laughs> oh my God! So this uh, this cover art is the one uh, poster Tom yeah. had. Yeah, right? it's, it's a great, cool. it's a great art scene. Right, we'll, open a lot of, uh, we'll open one of these. I also love the boxes, like the big boxes. This is know. like the Lyre and Guard artwork. versus, is that Clan J Falcon? Yeah, nobody else is. Oh, I forgot we got two of green, these. Yeah. Yellow. Well, one's for you. Yep. One's for me. It's so fun. I want both. Kevin ah. Kevin just got his own. Kevin, mm -hmm. you can open that if, if it makes you feel better. No. It doesn't hurt. Oh, wow. I just needed to absorb some of its. Some power, more. arcane, some arcane magic. Power. Are we ready? Ooh, nice sheen to it. I'll put this like. God, Kevin, it's the unboxing. It's happening. It's the great unboxing. Ooh, my favorite ah. part. Look you how, okay. look how gorgeous they are. So, number one. Yeah, I'm going right for it. Another short story. Very cool. Very cool. The other ones in the Game of Armor Combat were pretty good. So, love that. Regular dice. Bah. Bah. It's They're cool. Like Wait, too. By the famous Blaine Lee Pardo as well. Oh, yeah. Who is active yes. in the community. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude from what I understand. Um, so, got some of these. These are Alpha Strike cards that go with the miniatures. Yeah. And on the back, they have those, uh, those pilots. Right, so they have the SPAs and things like that that you can add, which is pretty slick. Never view it. <laughs> Kevin, would you like to, you, you, can, you can remove whichever one you like. Going for the elementals, are I you? I am. All right. Because Are these cards changed at all from the original Alpha Strike cards? Uh, no. Layout-wise, they're identical, yeah. Pictures and stuff, too. I actually love the fine detail on these. I'm afraid I'm going to break off an arm or something, but... 
Well, let's see. They're actually pretty robust. I'm, I know. I'm messing with it right rubbery. now. They're a little rubbery, right? So, uh, very cool. But the detail level on them is going to be fantastic once they're painted up. I agree. Man. I agree. No, I just got to get rid of all my giant metal ones. I know, all the big elementals. I know, Question it's true. How do you get the casting off of them? I mean, they're so tiny. You just got exactly. to I melt, yeah. melt them a little. Sharp, exact. Blowtorch. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so next up we have the Executioner. The Man of War. Is this the Man of War? Uh, that's the Gargoyle, right? Oh, the Gargoyle's Man of War. What's the inner sphere name for this one? Just the Executioner. <laughs> that, Bob? Yeah. I don't actually remember. Um, hmm. We're going to have to go to the internet on that one. So check this thing out. Will it be in these cards? Yeah. yeah I don't probably. know, maybe. There you go. Check it out. It's a beaut. So beefy. So here's the Timberwolf. Check out the detail on this. I mean, th these really live up to okay. expectations. Yeah, that... Wow. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed, I have to say. Yeah, this is awesome. Um, it's the Grendel here. The Grendel. Edges and everything much oh, crisper. Some, <clears throat> some close shots there. You know, lots lots of... The uh, mongrel. Grendel, of something like that. It. Yeah. It's very good. Here's the uh, my favorite, the adder, right? Yeah, the I love it. The adder, one of the. He two. looks like he's sticking his tongue out, doesn't he? <laughs> I love the adder. I'm gonna have like five of those lined up. Oh, they're so good. That's a girthy light neck, you know. Man, if they had made these multi-piece, like the shoulder pads and stuff, that, that would you could get so much, like crevices and depth on it. So it's I really that, good for being a one piece. There's yeah, a, there's a cast. lot of talk That's... out there on the, the scale increase, which I know right away with these. Right? But yeah. I, I think it's amazing just because the detail you can now capture on these is going to be gorgeous. Well, I, I can't well, wait to old see metal them. miniatures be damned. Yeah. Well, so here's 95 tons, right? Here's 35 tons. I was going to say, I can't wait to see some like scale comparisons for weight class. You mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. Dude, this guy here's, looks great. Too. Was that like 0.5 tons? So what else is in here? Let's take a look. So we have uh, Clan Invasion Primer. So this is basically like a fluff book, right? And it shows, oh, it's got some maps of the Inner Sphere, founding of the clans. It's like the equivalent of the, the PDF out yeah. there. Oh, 3025 regional, regional map. Maps. It shows you all the provinces and that's prefectures. That's good and for a quick ref. Absolutely. And then it goes to 3052. And then that's it. So it shows you that the clan, you know, the clan uh, carters and things like that. So it's got some really cool, yeah. very cool, very neat. And then individual mech shoots, it looks like. Where do you see that? Oh, look at that. Underneath. Yeah, so even more record sheets here. Yeah, for what's in the Oh, and it's still bound, too, which is interesting. So that's what the great... Uh... All, the, all the mechs that are in here. Oh, God, is it going to give me the name? So that, that's bound, but are, are they like easy peel out, or do you have to like rip them to get Well, them here, so it's it's the mongrel, the, the adder, gladiator. How did I forget that? The gladiator. Yeah. I knew it. Mm. I knew it. It was on the tip of my tongue. Russell Crowe. No, they don't peel out easy. It's state. Mm. Easy enough. One use. You know? Ooh, I love this. This is like my favorite things. I know. Mm. I'm, I'm a giant, sucker for maps. I'm a sucker for giant star maps. Oof. They could right, have included so, like a big map of Pennsylvania. So what's, so what's one side, there. one side, the other? <laughs> uh, 3052 and then 3025. That's so nice looking. Very cool. Yes, I wish it came rolled. I know. You know? You're going to have to like you can't somehow that. soft iron that. You maybe. Put a bunch of textbooks on it. I'm not sure, but maybe they'll release one. Because I bought the, you know, the, the hologram ones and they came yeah. in a tube, you know, so you could put them in a frame real nice, nice. But this is a really cool map. Yeah. Very neat. And then a quick yes, reference. Yeah. That's you know, nice. A little quick ref action, which is nice. Double sided. Nice heavy card stock. This came in the Game of Armored Combat. So very similar in terms of what, this what you hard. get in here. Some more of these cardboard mechs. I have so many cardboard mechs now, I don't even know what to do. The nice little quick rule book. Oh, very cool. And then more maps. In case you so, skimped on the Total Warfare. I'll be putting all these paper maps on eBay very shortly. Perhaps giveaways. Subscriber giveaways. So, targeting computer. Mmm. 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 
All right, what else we got? Some, some gorgeous paint. Oh, look at these. I wonder if these are camo specs, guys. They have mm. to be. They have to be, right? Yeah, let me check it out. I was enjoying the interview. Yeah, it was a good earlier one. this week. That guy is it's crazy good at painting. I mean, it's just like... Mm. It's nuts. It's nuts. It's this nuts. is really cool. I like yeah, the, yeah. the tiger, the tiger stripe one. I was looking at that silver mech. That this, just... It's unbelievable, right? It's just like, I'm going to paint this mech silver and pretty much use, you know, just eight, one. Eight like, to nine shades of silver. Yeah, eight to nine. Right, yeah. It's just awesome. And I'm anyway. still better than you. And, right. <laughs> and it still looks better than your than your mech with uh, you know, 22 different colors on it. All, All right. right. Guess what's next? Minis. A Lance Pack. I'm just gonna grab it random. All right. Da -da -da -da. Clan Command Star. Oh. So first of all, this says it comes with five high quality, fully assembled, unpainted miniatures, five Mech Warrior cards, and five Alpha Strike cards. So very exciting. Uh, and I do love the new boxes. Yeah. Like you can see that you can see this on the shelf at like Barnes and Noble or something. That would make know? me buy it. I would. It would make me buy it. So, you know. Savage. Savage. I have to keep all these boxes intact. I don't know why I'm going to save them all. Why would, what, where else are you going to put them? I love, look, it's got, it's got a little background on the box. Alright, so let's check it out. But it's oh, a shame. A lot, a, lot of, a lot of nice... You can put that stuff on the floor inside. So, what do we have in here, guys? So the first thing... Yeah, yeah, we got the cards. That's cool. But, let's talk about the minis here. May I see the Storm Pro? That's that's one of my So this is faves. the this is the Mist Links, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah. So this is the uh, this is the Storm yeah. Crow, Kev. Tom. Mist Links. Uh, so yeah, tiny. Mist Links. Hey, let's move let's move these. Would you want to put these on the floor? Sure. Over there, if, that if you would like to. I yeah. like how it looks. It's just how he almost seems like he's kinda like it's a little tight. A little tight in the in the armpits, but well, you so know, his gorgeous. torso twisted and can, his lasers are converging on a short range target. I'm, so I'm going with it, but I agree. Yeah, it could have been. It does look like. Don't try it. I'm going to saw him off and fix it. <laughs> you know I'm going to do it. And, gonna I'm gonna, and then I'm going to. And I'm going to saw. I'll do like that. Put little like magnets this. in those torsos. This guy's going to be like. Beep, beep, beep. You're crazy. I, I love the idea of magnetization, but I'm just going to go straight to paint. I will be too. Eager to get these on the table. So cool. So let's line them up. What else we got in here? What else we got? Shadow yeah. Cat. Yeah. You take that one. Gorgeous. Summoner. You take mm -hmm. that one. I'm looking at the Dire Wolf here. Summoner looks great. Yes. Dire Wolf is awesome. Here's a Dire Wolf. I'll trade you. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, Summoner is uh, looks good. I mean, still it's still true to form. You know, still looks like a Summoner. They all still look like the original mechs. They just look slightly Im improved. You know, more modernized, if you will, in the design yeah. and the details, unbelievable. They look you very thirty-first yeah. century. Yeah, and like this is the same level of detail, or if not more, that you would see out of a Games Workshop. I thing. like the, the heft of it. You think the so? weight behind it. Yeah, it's definitely thick solid plastic yeah that's that's a nice touch yeah yeah agreed right they're not like hollow in the middle how's the dire wolf stack up to the executioner he's he's big but he, he deserves to be yeah they're both pretty meaty because executioner is he 90 95 like, i believe right and that was 100 and then that's right this looks like it's at least two pieces i bet you could easily like yeah i bet that's cast in separate parts so you think so yeah, you, you can almost. See you know, I wonder if like later they're going to release those multi part kits. It would be my dream. It'd be I the think dream. Even that's not. This is a copy. Might as well take it. Yeah, we'll put this one over here. We got two. Very of nice. This I like this mech a lot. Yeah. The I, arm. The arm's a little like. A here's little strong arm. <laughs> Grab on my strong yeah, hand. Yeah. If it if it oh, was, if it was out a little bit ones. more, I would like it. What do we have here? More clan filth. Yeah, I mean that the tape on this is like insane. So I well, probably then, you know, it's the clan invasion. We're gonna do some clan first, and then we'll get into the. Ah. Should use your hobby knife to cut through that tape. Well, you know what? The hobby knife is on the other side of the room. Tom. It's never gonna happen. All right. I so do... what do we have here? Man, the packaging. Great. Look, at, even in the back. Yeah. There's, there's great artwork. Viper inside. I think I saw a Loki in there. Oh, one of my favorites. 
The, the Vulture. Yeah, that one's oh, uh, just, so just good. a classic icon. To me, that's like one of the most iconic for me. I, I agree. And look at the look at the missile, um, <clears throat> like the hole, the holes, right? The depth of the holes for the the missile points. Real good. Oh yeah, yeah, like real good. Like you watch that, it's gonna it's gonna look awesome. Very consistent. That's what I'm saying. I think the the rivets and Where's in between the plates, fair? all the cracks and nice crevices. Fair. Even for like an amateur painter, these are gonna turn out. I think amazing. Much better than what you're used to. And look at this thing, man. Gargoyle. Woo. The dry brushing on these is just going to bring out so much detail. Man, this thing looks awesome. Yeah, I'll be, I'll be curious to see about the dry brushing because there's still a lot of like very rounded edges, but they, they're so good. I don't know. Yeah, you get, a, you get so one wash or even lovely. this contrast paints that you were talking about. Oh, geez. They're going to work wonders on these things. You know? Yeah. Dude, I, this mech is so goofy. I love it. Detective like, gold. Definitely. Yeah, I mean, he's, this guy's just so good. The barrel, every the barrels are really good too. Like, look how deep the barrels yeah, are. Yeah, I, I know. I like that. Oh, so I, the heads on these are so much better. I think I remember the original Gargoyle had some like a really goofy looking face. <laughs> 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 it was like a mock atlas, just kind of like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that looks awesome. This is the one that like it's, that, it's got like super no, high gargoyle. Oh, the gargoyle. Doesn't that have like an incredibly fast oh, engine? Yeah. It does, and I, you know, I think it sucks in classic, but it's another one of those that, like, an alpha strike, it's it's not too bad. You can make bad. it half decent. Yeah. yeah, yeah, you know, so very cool wow, stuff. This very is cool great. stuff. Auto cannons, gorgeous. Here's a copy. All right, so, Tom, would you would you uh, do the honors with those boxes? Kevin rifling around. Rifling around down there. I just make sure we're we're prioritizing the the ordering. Here we go. This one's ooh, gonna be this one's gonna ooh. be fun. Mm. Go ahead. Mm. IS Battle Lance. The Inner Sphere Battle Lance. This was like one of the first ones they announced, if I recall. Rifleman, Warhammer, Phoenix Hawk, I believe. Yep. Yep. And uh, a Stinger, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or is it a Wasp? I think it's a Stinger. So let's open this puppy up. It's the wasp. It is the wasp in this one. Yeah, the other one has a stinger, right? I think they were they were the two in weight. That's the box a different size. It oh, is, yeah. yeah. Because so there's four in the inner sphere lance, five in the clan star. Look at that difference. Six. But the uh, yeah six in, in the, the comm star. Yeah. Right, that's gonna be gigantic. But they were like twenty five or twenty. Like they they did exactly. Yeah, the the, rate and price. these do come with a salvage box, right? So yeah, we get salvage boxes. boxes for all. I was these. saving those for last. They're the, they're gonna be fun. Yeah. Uh, so again, great artwork on the back of the box, right? Really cool. Yeah. Um, they should you, they should make it so you could like turn these into dioramas. That would have been sick. I mean, look at this thing. That's cool. That's just so cool. The barrels on the, this rifleman are just great. Wow. Yeah, it's crazy. I mean, even like the little small lasers Ooh. and like little vent holes in the torso. So good. The detail level is amazing. Yeah. Here's your boy. Here he is. Yep. The Phoenix Hawk. My, my originals. And I know so many people excited about this one, the Warhammer. Wow. The oh, Phoenix Hawk is just cool. so good. It's got I, the, the, the new cockpit design for the Phoenix Hawk is pretty cool. Mm. Versus like the giant face plate. plate. Oh, I agree. Look at that. And you know, it's interesting, like some of them got the antenna treatment, like the Phoenix Hawks got the antennas, the wasp, the signature crazy wasp hair. Not there. Yeah, it seems to be on more of the smaller mechs to give it like that little extra yeah. appeal. I'm trying to put them all up here. Oh uh, yeah, I mean, you just put some of them up there. We got, we got good shots of them. Oh yeah, that. Oh yeah. This Dude, those jump good jets ones. on that Phoenix Hawk. So no, this is the Valkyrie and the Stinger are both there. There's two lights. Oh god, it's got the Marauder. I know. <laughs> and it's got the Archer. There's some duplicates. God, that's so good. Been waiting years for a new Marauder. <laughs> We've seen so many uh, 3D so many printed, iterations. so many iterations, so many 3D printed ones, right? The Unseen, like when they re redesigned it. Yep. Awful, in my opinion. Right. Just can't, can't do it. Everyone's uh, done like the MechWar Online interpretation, the newer Battletech. Mm. We got there. Not a card. Alright, so wow. I know. I'm just gonna take this one out. <laughs> the barrel on that. It's so cool. It's fantastic. Stinger. Stinger's phenomenal. Yeah. Check that guy out. 
like that that just ginormous and oh bad. wow dude this thing looks so menacing that's cool it is unbelievable so this was the one that uh that ryan painted right the same uh the same yeah. model there and you can see just the detail in the arms and you know the barrel and and just about everything it's it's so cool to see this thing up and close and then what else do we have here the valkyrie God, I love it. This is another one that uh, that he painted up. I don't know if I'll paint it as good as him, but still true to form. Yeah. You know, I mean, it looks like an original. It kind of looks like that Valkyrie. It's got. I don't. Have, I've never had this one, but yeah, I'm excited to paint great. this one. And then it's the got a Archer, cool, cool oh, helmet on that. You know, whatever you want to call it. Yeah. Cockpit head. Dude, this thing is disgusting. <clears throat> and look how big it is, right? Seventy tons with, I think, fourteen tons of armor, right? I like the missile doors on it, you know, that's cool. I do like how they sculpted it walking, so they have a peg, because its foot is raised off. Oh, that oh. is cool. That is really cool. He's going to take a step up front. Step up front there. And look, let's compare the Archer to the Thor, both 70 what do we tons. Name up here now? Right, roughly the same size. Very okay. cool. Right. Or the two I missed over here. Oh, you didn't see these? Archer. Oh, oh, with the raised uh, little... Yeah, like the open bay doors for the missiles or whatever you want to wow. call them. They did a good job on them. Here we go. Here's here's some fun comparisons. The oh, legendaries. the legendary Mac Warriors. With antennas, too. Yeah, very cool, right? Interesting, yeah. The details, wow. just... It's a lot of salvage boxes in there. It's going to be fun. That's where all the trade... That's where all of our backdoor trading goes on. That's true. If you find out you have like I haven't even allocated them for uh, for painting yet. So here is the uh, the timber wolf, the pride, right? The the legendary. Oh, this is the, the the heroes, the legendary. Yeah, the legendary ones. Can we do a little the, quick comp. comp. So Natasha yeah. Kerensky's dire wolf, Aiden Pride's timber wolf, Grayson Death, Carlisle's marauder, mm. and Morgan Kell's archer. So I will tell you Natasha Kerensky's uh, wow, dire wolf. They look is redonkulous. This does not look the same. She's got different. Look yeah. at the arms. Arms are different. This one's like almost identical. This one's kind of like yeah, she's in a slightly ooh, different the, pose. Yeah, that's it. It's the almost the dire wolves weird. are completely different in my opinion. So you got a different pose. You have different arm weapons. Yeah, she's got like a little rotary auto cannon maybe, or yeah. I, I don't know what like the heck double it is. Double gausses or something. ERPPCs. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what the loadout is of that mech. Uh, the archer, interesting. So this archer is like smaller than the other one. It's like kneel. It's like crouched, right? Which is cool. It's kind of like a you know a recoil position. Yeah, yeah. So it's interesting. You know, and I'll use this in Alpha Strike when we do true line of sight. Like I'll swap the miniatures when you're not looking, just so I can get that cover bonus. Because <laughs> it's you know it's substantially shorter. Yeah. Uh, then the other one. So here's the here's the two archers, and then of course Why? the uh, it is it's like kneeling. It's like almost like kneeling it, down. Yeah, he's like which is pretty cool. Crouching. This one I'm slightly disappointed by. I mean, it's not very different. The Timberwolf. Yeah, I have to agree. Like it's it's almost like a mirror image, right? That's about it. It's um, interesting. like a very very slight change in pose, but I don't think there's any loadout. At least of a visual difference. No, there's, it there's would have been very interesting little if, uh, difference. If the uh, the missiles, if the LRMs were closed, yeah, that'd be cool. Like a little Can bit we, more. Can we see that one of those? Uh, yeah. So the oh, wow. Marauder are very different, right? Yeah. The, the auto cannons twisted, the the torsos twisted, the arms not in very much of a different position, but overall it's pretty cool. It's more of a <laughs> athletic it's position. Kind of a goofy look. Yeah, <laughs> I like it. It's cool. I mean, it's a variation if you're going to have two in your lineup. I mean, and who doesn't have two Timberwolves? I mean... Who doesn't want two Timberwolves? Who doesn't want... That's, I mean, I, I agree. Or two Marauders or two Archers. Yeah, I mean, obviously not going to play, you know, this is like, you know, Morgan Kell's Archer or whatever. You know, it's just going to be another Archer. Um, and it's to your be point. Clay. Right, oh, obviously. and one of them has uh, Jump Jets, I guess. <clears throat> they, if they, when they make a Legendary Zeus, you know, then, then I'll be in business. Is that what those are? What's that? No, I don't. I don't think so. Just, you're, okay. there, you're right. There is a little bit extra of detail on the maybe? back. Maybe like more heat sinks. Oh yeah, probably. Oh, more heat here sinks. we go. There it is. Oh look, it's here, guys. Irby. 
it's here guys I can't wait to make the 432nd urban mech urban defense force <laughs> We'll paint them some goofy color and just have like 20 of them. Tom, would you like yours? Yeah, thank you. I like that you can't see it inside. It's a surprise. Wow, All this right. tape is serious. Oh, look at this. So it even comes with Aww. a little Alpha Strike card. It's a Cray Cray Adorbs. And dude, look at this guy. Great detail. Were the plushies, were they wave two? They were so or expensive. Wave three or you something. didn't get one? Yeah, no. I did not order. They were like surprised. forty I figured, bucks. I figured weren't each they? of your children were just too one. much. I mean, Mike, Mike, I do love my kids, but uh, I don't love they that have, much. Yeah, not that yeah. much. I have too many children, and like that's just an egregious amount of money for a stuffy. Plus, who knows how big it is? Maybe it's gigantic. I don't need more of that crap. Yeah, I don't want more stuffies in my house. God, so many. In fact, I even call them stuffies is a problem. <laughs> Dad, like, bro. The fact that we call them stuffies is a problem. <laughs> All right, are you so check it out. I can't even open this box. I give up. Why don't we start What's with these? Since these are Woo. legendary salvage. Yeah. I mean, we're only going to get more of the same here. It's only a one of four deal, you know. Yeah, Tom, you get one. I get one. I cut the. Uh, I don't know how you get these boxes. I cut. I cut the tape for you. It's not. How do you get it out? Like, look, I'm trying to get it out. I just ripped. What That's you, your box. What do you? You're like my children. Doing? Ooh, look, I got another Marauder. Yay! <laughs> it will be used. <laughs> look, just I have a lance of Marauders. I down the side of it, but now I finally Just have tear it open. I hope it's side. another Marauder. Oh, Direwolf. I got mm. Natasha Kerensky's Direwolf. So I got it's a cool legendary. that the random boxes come with the, you know, the appropriate card. I think that's really neat. Yeah. All right. All right, all right. Yeah. Pretty cool. Let's, let's I, I was psyched because now we have, you know, we got doubles of every mech, and now we have doubles of yeah, um, a, an alternate pose instead of triples. I like it. So here, uh, here's a. Yeah. What did you get in your box? Oh yeah, I got a Marauder. Okay, so it's kind of lame, but that's okay. I don't have any band aids, just so you know. <laughs> we interrupt this broadcast. <laughs> oh man, Tom. Um, we do, have, we do have scissors here. Ah, just get it for me. Thank you. Here, I'll just be your scissor, guys. We're good. I'll be the scissor. No, no, open. Oh my goodness. It, yeah, but then who does it Which one to? do you want? I'll open this one. You open that one. Kevin, you can open that one. Let's see. I don't what could it be, guys? What could it be? Dude, how do you open these boxes without Ta-da! Oh, Hellbringer. That's not bad. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll All right. take it. Can you show me... Can you get this open without ripping it, please? Could go on the trading block. Like... There's gonna be, there's gonna be black market I must market have the trading. fattest fingers in the world. Like, I cannot do that for my life. Now, don't show me. I want to look. Sorry. It's an urban mech. I'm just kidding. If only. Oh, one of my favorites. The Nova. The Nova's, Nova's awesome. Now are all the, the salvage mechs, clan mechs, are there going to be the, some of the inner sphere ones? Do they, have, back in here? do they have different pilots? Yeah, I put uh, just the empty. They're all wave one salvage boxes. Okay, so do, any of the wave do one. Do e does each mech have the same pilot card with it, or are they all different? Bob Becker. Yes, Bob Becker. Come this. on down, Bob Becker's furniture. Oh, I was thinking Bob Becker. I thought they were supposed to come with an inner sphere meeting. salvage box with the inner sphere. Yeah, I don't know. I think the mechs. salvage box. I think I think the salvage box is random. Any of these mechs, except for the legendary ones. Okay, so, but, but it says wave one omni mech. One random wave one omni. -mech. Oh, maybe they're all omni mechs then. Yeah. Okay. Well, there there you have it, folks. I believe that. Just didn't, didn't we slightly disappointing. Out? Maybe well, we did. Right. did we open I can them deal with that. I can live with that. No, we didn't open oh. them all. These are all. Which one you want? Um, one, two, middle, three, four, two. Two, two. Give me two. Going for six. Better be a vulture. Oh, I got this one open without ripping. When I get my delivery, I'm just gonna open it all by myself. Bob Becker! <laughs> this is what I always wanted. <laughs> I got Trekarns. Trekarns. I was thinking it was like a like a like a like a, a Bart Simpson, you know, call joke. Uh, like an Amanda Butts? Yeah. <laughs> or whatever it is. <laughs> Can I get Amanda kiss a lot? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Ice Ferret Prime again. Another of my favorite goofy mechs. So good. I love it. It's just, it's a beaut. Such a weird looking mech. It's a beaut, Clark. I love it. Alright. 
Tom, you may pick. Can um, I run over five, five. One, two, three, four. Three, three. three. One, three, four, five. I want five. Five. Yeah. Going for one. If you get any Take extra bets. hatters, oh, we I should will have, trade for them. We should have bets, and if somebody figures out exactly what we're getting, they win it. Give me a good one, Captain. Oh, Bob Becker! <laughs> is it Bob Becker again? No. It's... Oh, Koshi. Grendel, right? Oh, is it Koshi or Grendel? I don't even know. I miss links, right? Yeah, yeah. I no. think that's a Koshi. I got Kashi, Kamil, Koshi. Del, Del Vilar. A pa 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 pa. Oh, God, Kevin wants it. Boomer. Mm. I love light clam, actually. You know why? Because they're so what darn expensive. We don't light have any. <laughs> well, yeah, that yeah. and... All the Goofy Mix, I love the shield this thing has on the top of it. Just so good. I know. Such a fan. It's very like I really a want to paint one. It's almost like a Star Wars model, you know? <laughs> yeah. Or more like a Spaceballs model. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like their Lord, uh, what's his name? Uh, Lord Helmet. Lord Helmet. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm Mech Shield. One, two, um, one, two. One, two. One. You tricked me! I'm just kidding. If it's a vulture, it's mine. That's alright, but the salvage boxes I'm not keeping. Another, another mislinks. Now I have, have to get on that trade market. So many mislinks. Let's talk about how like beefy the, the cardboard is. These. Like. Damn it! He got the vulture. <laughs> Just a pack of lynxes. I got a prime. That's a nice. Uh, the vulture is a good. Michael one Hawkins or Daryl Dawkins. Daryl Dawkins. I'll Darryl trade you. Dawkins. I'll trade you for. There's nothing you could trade me to get this thing out of my hands. Damn it. Brian I Dawkins. Got, Brian Dawkins. I think I won this draft. You did. You won it. I got Kevin. all the goofy mechs. Is there anything else in that box? Unfortunately, I think that's it. Just a bunch of bubble wrap. That's it, guys. Were you leaving the mechs in the boxes? Uh, no, I took mine out, but you can oh. put yours back. I mean, you have to drive home. Keep them safe. Look on the bright side. Look at all this painting you have to do over the next few weeks. This is a uh, this is a substantial amount of miniatures, uh, no doubt. So this was this is just wave one, which is like twenty percent of like of like the total Kickstarter. Uh, so what do you think, guys? What's your what's your reaction so far? Um, oh, you, I love the miniatures. I mean, a lot of the other stuff is a nice to have for me, but obviously, like the maps. You know, we may get those used in more of a travel scenario, but I think for most players that are using them, which is probably a majority of the community, they're going to love them. The detail on those map sheets right. is bar none. Agreed. Yeah, it's definitely a step up from before. I also noticed they're bigger, right? Yeah. So a lot of them were, yep. you know, so these are, these are substantially larger. You know, for me, obviously the miniatures are what, what I've, I think most people paid the money for. Uh, the pins were really cool. Like the the coins were really cool. The dice are great. The uh, the Velcro things are great. The drop ship, in my opinion, is <laughs> nice to have. You know? I mean, it's that's really, that... look how much of the stuff fits inside of it. I I really put like almost all of the little. You could cut like a little so good like Dremel with slot on top. You could make it like a piggy bank. Ooh. You should. I, I would not glue it entirely together. I'd find a way to repurpose it as like a a dice holder. You yeah. could put yeah. your favorite mech in it, like a really good mech case. <laughs> you could put one of your twenty mislinks. <laughs> hey, all right. Don't rub it in. Uh, look at three. Yeah, the maps were okay. I'm interested to look through the cards. Although I feel like it's cool because my face is in there, but I also feel like um, wait, hey, don't shake your head, Tom. It's a big deal. I, 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 I'm, okay. I have an itch. All right. So Bye. I noticed you got the complimentary animals. You did not get any of the elemental. You didn't choose any of the elemental packs. I did not. No. So now I have a good tactic to use against you. You could. Metal swarms. Yeah, you could. Against yeah. your mislinks army. Just, right. And then That's we'll just run. We'll, we'll um, see what happens. Savannah Masters versus Elementals. <laughs> oh, whoa, deathmatch time. <laughs> we will, everybody will unsubscribe and we'll never talk to each other again. <laughs> you asked for it. Uh, oh my god, this like, excites me. Yeah, I knew you would. Be. It's cool. I, the one thing I will say is that, like, they went all out with basically fan servicing, like, everybody's little niche group. Like, Right, the little the, the amount of t-shirts you should get, yeah, the collectibles for dice, like things that matter, like 
T-shirts are cool, dice are cool. Uh, some other stuff I'm not as hip on, but it's very cool. Yeah. I, I am, after, you know, so much of the chatter on Facebook and in the groups about the quality of the minis that were going to come out and some of the design issues people thought that they were going to have with it, um, I think Scroggins and his crew, shout out to him, he got a lot of grief through this whole process. So but, much grief. Like, honestly, they turn out really good. You know, I was even a little bit critical, I think, at times about, like, the, 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 the Lego block design stuff but they turned out just amazing I yeah mean, like hats off to that crew um and, and even catalyst for executing such a step up in the quality of their plastics huge like, it, yeah huge i mean it really wait till you guys get if, if you're still waiting for your stuff it's amazing i can't um, wait to see some of the paint jobs that come out on these they're mm -hmm. gonna be gorgeous yeah yeah, I think it's exciting. I think people are going to be excited. Yeah, I think so too. And you know, it, it you know, you look at the um, the other box set minis that we got, right? The uh, Game of Armor Combat, and like what a step above. And they were good. They I were good. I think these are even better. I I, I, I was going to say the same. I think these have even more detail. You know, little heat sinks, little jump jet ports. You know, all sorts. And it of was was it as noticeable the scale change with the Game of Armor Combat? I'm not sure it was. I like, well, I mean, because I mean, maybe they there's really only a couple mechs. Yeah. Over. Or, I mean, over. Well, the Iron One Metals ones, right? Right. And it's easy to outscale those. <laughs> right. Those are all different, right? I mean, you have some that are closer to what they should be than others. Uh, but these, you can see a clear gradient from, you know, small right. to large. We didn't really well, line them up that way, but, you know. And, and they declared, right, and I, I don't know if this is 100% canon, but I saw, again, on the internet where the only real things in the world exist. Um, that they had standardized the scale finally and like settled on something and like saying we are, you know. Yeah, would they say 1265? 1265, yeah. Which is different than 1285, which is what everybody thought it was or what they had decided right. in the past. Yeah, and so then they said like you can literally put this next to a building, next to whatever, and that's the scale it is. And like yeah. everything will work together. Yeah. And I think that's really great. I think, yeah, just move forward with it. You know, right. there, there's never a perfect answer to anything. It's no, like, and as long as the models are consistent, right? Yeah. That's what we always struggled with. I mean, that was one of the reasons I got annoyed with Warhammer, right? As, like, the Marines got bigger. Primaris, yeah. Like, and, okay. like, you got a Primaris Marine that's, like, this big, and then all your old Space Marines are, like, these tiny... And, if, you know, and with the older editions, too, and I get that as, as things evolve, but I'm really happy that they finally, like, they're like, here's our new line, this is what you get, right? And... Unlike Warhammer, this stuff's like way more affordable. You know what yeah. I mean? Yeah. I mean, a pack of five, right, is what, 25, 25 bucks. Yeah, $5 you know? a model. And that's not bad. That's really reasonable for the level of, of detail and quality um, that you and get. As much in these as I things. love assembling my models into different poses and stuff, I don't have to do that. Ah, it's just like, right, man. You can, I mean, honestly, to your point, I don't think, I think you said it. You prime them, you contrast paint them, a little bit of detail, and you're done. Like, if you want to get stuff on the table quick, you can. I'm probably going to spend a lot of time. Probably. Painting. But I will say too. But it's it, going to be worth it. I'm, yeah. I'm excited to paint them. As is usually where I'm like dreading painting a whole force. Yeah. Yeah, I've got... Uh, I'm going to start with Clan Wolf. The key is just getting Wave 1 done before Wave 2 comes. Uh, I mean, Wave 2, I don't even think we have a launch date, do we? Like spring? <laughs> I don't know. Spring 21 is what I'm guessing. I'll probably I guess think, like I six think, months. I'm sure that'll get delayed. Ah, hopefully not. But I will say, uh, yeah, I got Clan Wolf, and then the the, the Inner Sphere mechs are getting scattered across my various, my various tribes. You have a whole bunch of stuff you got to paint. When are you breaking out that airbrush, Tom? It's getting there. <laughs> it's getting, it's there. getting to be. I can't put it off anymore. No, look at all this stuff I mean, you got. I, I am excited to paint up some Jade Falcon. Yeah. And um, if yeah. anything, an urban mech. I mean, you just need to at least paint an urban mech. I can, yeah. I could do an urban mech. And, you know, not bad. I mean, so considering, right, we did the con and the star kernel, remember, we got twice as much stuff as what, what we're looking at here. Yeah, because we, we got all your craps on the floor of the extra boxes, right? Well, we got double of everything. Double of everything. Yeah. So that's a lot of stuff. It's, it's an insane amount. I don't know what we were thinking, but it's the giddiness. It's the fun. It's the fun. Right. But, and then to think we've got all those other mechs coming, too. Whew. Folks, but, we're in a world of trouble. Yeah, but I'm excited about it. So I'm looking forward to getting these painted. So guys, you know, keep your eyes out for some some uh, bat reps with clan mechs now, right? As we will move into the 3050s, big leap, very exciting. Um, what do you think? Any closing thoughts, Tom? It was a good experience, I think. The 
you know, the community came together, blew, blew the doors off the place. Um, everybody was really positive about the whole thing, almost through the end, even when they were waiting and waiting and waiting. Um, the only criticism I would say is, I do, I, and it's not specific to Battletech, but like when the paper products, and then we'll roll them, I hate that. I oh, hate the posters and stuff? And stuff? Yeah, oh, everything. Wow. Like, I mean, the maps you can eventually kind of like level out, and it's not a big deal, but like the posters, you, you, if you want to hang them up, you don't want to see yeah. creases in them. Yeah, and yeah. you could like redo the box a little bit so they could fit, you know? I, there's, yeah, it's, it's been a problem forever, and forever. it will always be a problem, because <laughs> it's just, I think, how they like to box stuff you know yeah so, yeah but that's yeah. why we don't play on paper mats tom that's true the, i mean nothing beats nothing beats the old neoprene neoprene i think that's what it's called i mm. wish to know if anyone knows a way to wait is this like what they know, make wetsuits on probably it is right yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is what i think about <laughs> this is why we love you uh so anyway what about your closing thoughts Enjoy. Yeah. Well, I, I haven't gotten the date on mine yet. Well, I will tell you, I got the email and it was like, your box is coming. And I was like, oh, this is exciting. And then like I turned around and it was like at the front door. <laughs> like literally, I think there was like not even 24 hours between when Dude, I got the email. Yeah, I was driving. Your box is coming. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's crazy. So. Oh, got one. You got, got one. Comstar is coming. It is. Are you going to oh, gonna make a Comstar faction? I thought about it. I thought it'd be pretty fun. We could definitely work that into like. Mm -hmm. Are you painting Jade Falcon? Let's talk about Absolutely, that. Absolutely, yeah. What do you What are you painting? You painting Jade Falcon? Yeah, painting Jade Falcon. Thinking about Star that. Adder for a little home world <laughs> action, Star and then Ghost Bear. Ooh, that's good. I'm also a Ghost Bear fan, but I, I think you know we're gonna start with Clan Wolf, and then we'll go from there. Yeah, you're gonna do the Wolf, huh? I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. Good. Uh, we need a wolf. Someone needs to be the wolf. Someone's got to be Clan Wolf. So that's gonna pick uh, you guys up. You know. Yeah, yeah, right. And that's why I painted the whole Oberon Confederation uh, unit because Clan Wolf just basically, you know, kicks down their door. Just so, so that I'm like beat up on your enemies. So I can play against myself. Yeah. The next time we do a tactical report. Uh, yeah. So I'm gonna do Wolf first, and then you know maybe Snow Raven. I like them. I like. I do like Ghost Bear as well. Maybe we'll do different Ghost Bears. Yeah, I don't know. I just always loved Star Adder, even mm -hmm. though they're not really involved in the invasion. Yeah. Dan painted a pirate force, uh, but of course we haven't we haven't seen Dan aside from virtual Dungeons and Dragons. Well, we haven't actually seen him in that either. Yeah, he's in a webcam. Yeah. It's We've weird. only heard Mash in the background. <laughs> I just, I, he's like we're walking around with like the Phantom of the Opera mask on. We're like, damn, what happened? He's like, nothing. He's just, just a good look, cool. Yeah, just felt felt like it fit, you know. I, I wanted to see if Rick was gonna if Rick was around to come over tonight mm. for the unboxing, but alas, he was not. He didn't get anything, right? No, no. Well, I have three Marauders. I'll trade a Marauder for a Vulture. Nah, damn it. I don't think I need another one. Yeah, I love, I love it. I love all this stuff. I don't understand why the Hellbringer is lopsided. <laughs> uh, he, he, you know when the dog like can't quite understand you and they tilt their head? That's what he's doing. He's like, what did you, did you, did you guys say something? I honestly may try to peel it off the base, cut the leg, and bring the leg back a little more. And then that would level the, Let me see it. the chassis. I, think, yeah, I don't that, care enough about the Hellbringer to do that. Oh, wow, yeah. It's cold. It's cool. It's cool. got a lot of cool stuff in it, but they die so fast. No armor. Well, part of it too is like you can see, like, it looks like it's not quite attached right at the back, so it's leaning forward a little bit. If you chopped it to put a magnet in it, you could fix that pretty easily. See what I mean? The, so it's yeah. like canted down a little bit. And it is, it is definitely like a little, but that's because it's walking, you know? Yeah. So it should be. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's got a limp. It's got, yeah, right. I mean, that's kind of what it looks like. I mean, it's interesting. Like, I almost wonder. Brick. Yeah, look at that. Told you. Look. Oh, torso, it. torso twisted in real time. It actually looks way. I mean, it looks way cooler. Than <laughs> right. what, that, what just happened? I just twisted it. Yeah. And with, with my improved. raw. Or is that like meant no. to do that? No, I mean I'm sure if I kept going, it would snap. If, if you dabbed it with a little glue now, you could get it to stay there. Yeah, it like so to good. Tom's point. Yeah, I don't need. I don't even need. A, I don't even need a little glue. It's, yeah, it's just the way that they probably assembled them. Yeah. I was just saying. It was just. I like the pose on the uh, executioner. It's a great pose. Really cool. But yeah, yeah look at that. Look how much cooler that Hellbringer looks now. 
Yeah, he's like leaning over the, mm. the hip. Mm -hmm. Oh, so good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, actually, you know what? He kind of reminds me of the legendary uh, watch. Legendary. Ready? No, that one. That one, mate. This one. This one. Yeah, I bet it depends on how they pin together. It's gonna snap. Yeah, this one. This one might might snap. That I'll have to get another. You might have to still apply some glue in there just to solidify that bond. Yeah, where's that flexing at the it's hips? Like that this one's flexing at the hips. What kind of yeah. like that? It's kind of like. That is kind of interesting that they. I mean, this though, some of the ones have pretty girthy hips. This one's kind of got like a very small connection point. Yeah. So you that kinda, did look you, better lean back a little. That bit. That makes it way better because now that slant like seems purposeful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that, that's interesting. I bent this one back a little bit, so they're they're a little malleable, which is intriguing. I bet if you heat them up, it'd a be hot easier. knife, put them in a little hot water, you know. Yeah. That might help Not with boiling. this one, the way that it's crouched, if you had it doing like more of a arc to its... Well, I think part yeah, of this one, this one kind of messed up on the legs. When this one looks like a solid, like it doesn't have the... Mm. Right? I think the arms are probably, I, you know, the part that's... Um, yeah, I mean, I am admittedly like this archer variant. It's just... Strange. It's weird. Yeah, the legendary one, I'm not going to lie. She took a lot of dumps in the field. That's what it looks like. It does look like it's dropping heat. Dumping it's, its ammo, I, as who, it were. Who is that? It's like the, the <laughs> Steiner dude. Who was in the archer, the legendary archer? Oh, uh, Morgan Kell. Oh, Kell Hounds, I think. <laughs> Poor dropship. I'm glad I skipped that. I'm really bummed about it. I gotta be honest with you. I skipped it Why just when I saw map scale. To me, it? map scale is like, eh. The question is why. You know me. I, I, I did like the um, live. Yeah. I did like this to scale sized leopard. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, the 3D printed one. Yeah. Yeah, dude. It's I mean, like five it's like, times the size of that. Yeah. I just. Oh, yours is insane. It's yeah. so big. Even the one I got. That's you know, I'm, I'm I'm wondering like honestly like just taking this and turning it into some sort of communications array. Yeah. Like terrain, like yeah. a biodome I mean, dude, or you something. Can even this side even too. that, even yeah. The, yeah, even the underside. Like I mean, the detail is cool. That could be like a landing pad for another. <laughs> oh yeah, it could be a landing pad. That's a great idea. So it's not totally unusable, uh, but I will say. I agree. I'd almost turn these into just built, you know, random buildings. Yeah. You know, because I mean, that is about the right, you know, the right size. You know. Well, that'd be a perfect, yeah. You know, like a little biodome. And this is what, like, level. That could, could be, be like a landing, like, like industrial well, reactor. These yeah. Are, these events. Absolutely. Absolutely. You, you put a marauder behind it. Yeah, looks Missile awesome. Side That's though. what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. And I can, I can file, I can shave down this crap, and clean up the ed, you know, this piece. Maybe even mount it on a little plastic cart if I need to. See that? Brilliant. Everything comes together. Everything comes together. So everything's Thank useful. you. So we got some free terrain in the box. <laughs> Pretty exciting. What can we do with these keychains? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Tripwire? Um, They're actually really cool. Yeah. They're cool collectibles. I don't know what the heck I'm going to do with them. You know? But yeah. they're cool. They're cool. I don't think I'd ever wear one out, you um, know? Anniversary well, gifts for your, well, for your wives or husbands. All right. Well, I'm excited this about fun. making this terrain. This yeah, is fun. That's a fantastic this idea. Uh, so Let's order 20 more of those, just have a dome field. Oh, can't wait. Did anybody who's gotten one? you? Didn't, no, I didn't yeah. get that. That only came in your pack. Oh, resin yeah. add-on. I was gonna say, anybody who's gotten their stuff, let us know what you think. Yeah. Uh, let us know what you got. I'm very curious who else went all ham on this and, and just spent their life savings. So Tom sent me a what was that on Instagram or Facebook? Who knows? The but internet? it was so, some somebody posted a a picture of their. They're like, oh, my wave one arrived, and it was like 30 boxes. Oh, it was right. Yeah, I know who it was, but. Yeah. What did they get? It was it like the. Like maybe 11 like boxes. The retail, like the commercial pack, whatever it was. Like, like the, the merchant one. cast yeah. or whatever. Yeah. That's, what, that's yeah. what I said, is it must have been a merchant cast. Because it was one. like multiples of this box. So that Which dude, was a huge box. It's going to take him like three, four days to get through all this stuff. It's, it's a. Just to know, open it. Just That's what I mean, just to open and to like break all, all this down for recycling. Which, you know, you have to flatten everything. Gotta recycle. Gotta recycle. Right. Um, Speaking of flattening, I want to know if anyone knows how to safely flatten those posters. 
Yeah, I thought you were going to go into flat that. earth conspiracy stuff for a second. I was like, oh god, please don't. The inner sphere is flat. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> like but this oh, map. The galactic plane is flat. Yeah. But like this map, there are slight ripples in it. Yeah, yeah. dude, I don't know yeah. how you do that. I think, you know, with a lot of that kind of stuff, um, you usually put like a sheet on top of it and then an iron and uh, some weight, you know, but... So cool. I don't know, I'm curious. Yeah, that's a great point. If anybody's ever done it. All right. Well, uh... Guys, no, this is seriously over. It's seriously, it's happening. We're done. Uh, it was awesome. Thanks for thanks for making the ad hoc trip out here, guys. It was fun. Yeah, and look, you look better than right. when you came in. I do. Somehow, I I leveled up. Wow, you, it looks it looks good. Shirts hat, are great. The hat looks the way better. Are great. Everything's awesome. You finally got some DFA swag. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mech Warrior swag. It's true. Mech Warrior swag. So we are uh, we're wrapping up. So guys, thanks so much for watching. We hope uh, we hope you enjoyed this. We'll try to work in some close ups of the minis. Maybe I'll do some round tables of them. Uh, but anyway, that's all I got. So guys, you already have seen it at this point. So oh yeah, you know close ups. Like, you're kind of commenting on it after the fact. Yeah, I know. I get that. So if you saw close-ups, you know I did it. If if I didn't, because I was too lazy. And you know he did it just to spite me. <laughs> just to spite Kevin. You can blame Kevin. All right. Well, guys, thanks again. Stay tuned. Always great stuff coming from Death From Above Wargaming. Have a great night.